today I will tell you why you're not getting enough reviews and how to change the situation. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As I said many times in the past, online reviews are my favorite source of feedback from customers and brands should really invest as much as possible to extract value from these precious texts. Reviews represent the number one factor that influences purchase decisions of future customers. How much? 90% of customers say that reviews have played a crucial role in their decision making. At the same time, reviews are the most useful source of insights for product and marketing teams. Why? Well, first of all, they are voluntarily shared in a free text format, which makes reviews one of the few marketing data sources that are still really unbiased. Reviews also give an honest representation of customer satisfaction levels. So if someone tells you that people leave reviews only if they are extremely happy or unhappy, tell them that is not true. In fact, the majority of reviews are positive, with star ratings ranging between 3.5 and 4.5 points out of 5. I can imagine that your next question at this point is, how do I get enough reviews and start benefit from them? Having customers to write reviews is difficult, so if you're not successful at it, I totally understand. Only 10% of customers write reviews every now and then, and only 1% does it frequently. Based on the experience at Wonderflow, I can tell you that the minimum number of reviews that you need to increase learnings and sales is around 150 per each product or service, obviously. If only 10% of customers write reviews, it means that you will need to sell more than 1,500 units of a single product to generate the bare minimum of 150 reviews. This is a huge number, isn't it? So how can we maximize the sales we make and get several reviews? You can do two things. Number one, create opportunities for customers to write reviews. It seems too obvious to be true. Trust me if I say that the number one reason for companies not to get reviews is because it's actually difficult to leave one. It should be possible to leave reviews on your website, through links on social profiles, on your apps if you have them. A simple and smart solution would be to add a widget to your product pages. Nothing special, just a simple form with a star rating and a free text. Number two, ask customers to write reviews. Timing is key in this case, as you don't want to ask them to write a review too early, when they haven't used the product yet, or too late when they almost forgot about it. Sending them an email or a message are the most common ways to do so. However, it's also successful to give them a call and ask about their experience. You can use your contact center operators where they're not busy. Customers would be impressed by the attention that you may have for their satisfaction. You have nothing to lose. But if you do not reach out to them, only a few would really write something for you. I hope this was helpful for now. I'm always happy to jump in deeper conversations and if you like the idea, let me know in the comments. For now, thank you so much and see you soon.